Welcome everyone. So today we are going to understand why the answer for this question is not supposed to be zero. See, we have nine divided by one. Sorry, nine minus nine divided by one upon nine multiplied by nine. So people think this is so easy. So we have nine minus nine divided by one, and nine divided by one is nothing but just nine. So nine minus nine gets you zero. No, that's not how these things work. Please understand here. Um, when you have sums which has addition, subtraction. multiplication so at that point you need to follow the acronym of bodmas or pemdas and in that also you need to realize that division and multiplication hold higher precedence than addition and subtraction after that also remember that division and multiplication hold equal precedence so in sums like these which have division and multiplication you just go from left to right whatever operation happens first from your left hand side has to be done first so we keep 9 as it is minus 9 divide by 1 upon 9 whenever there is a fraction involved in division we'll follow the acronym of kcf where k stands for keeping the first number as it is c stands for changing the division sign to multiplication f stands for flipping or taking reciprocal of 1 upon 9 which is 9 multiplied by 9 so we have 9 minus 7 29 so when you subtract Nine from seven twenty nine. The answer for that one was supposed to be seven twenty, right? But the sign of that number will be of the bigger number. So here it will be minus seven twenty. I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.